Hey guys, basically I'm back here and you have the title, it's all thumbnail. Yes, I have the tie-dye plushies. At least three of them because, well, currently the ones I ordered online, uh, the all the, not all of them are online. And I ordered these plushies off of Box Lunch, which is where they've actually been getting sold at recently, where they've been stocking up at. So they were also online. So I thought I might as well uh, order them. And yeah, I right now I have like Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy. Those are the only three I have. I need to get, uh, you know, Tidy Chica, Tidy Mangle, and obviously Tidy Springtrap, the wonky headed little buddy. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's really all we're gonna have to review today. So yeah, we're gonna have to. All right. All right. So here they are, and um, yeah, they're in bag. So let's get them out of that. All right, here they are out of um, out of the bag. So I'm gonna be starting this review uh, by going from left to right, and that means we're starting with Foxy, which very, very many people hate, according to all the images that have been shown of him, as he has a very wonky eye patch. But mine actually really doesn't look that bad. Um, but uh, you know, I will say Foxy. Obviously, he does kind of look a little derpy, uh, in some ways. Uh, but the eye patch in my case really isn't, it doesn't look that bad, honestly. Also, for whatever reason, uh, this is production design, I think, but for whatever reason, Foxy, my tie dye Foxy has this little black little string thing on, on his eye, which I don't know why, which I'm probably gonna have to fix that later if I can. Uh, but. Yeah, basically, here is tie-dye Foxy, as you could see, this little tie-dye color, uh, which, honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of disgusting, but, <laughs> but, I mean, I really don't know what to expect, it's tie-dye, and also, just saying, the bit right here, where it's, like, there's this really dark blue kind of color, it makes it look like he's wearing a vest or something, I don't know, and, like, all Foxy plushies now, apparently, he has a hook, which has no tie-dye on it, as, yeah, uh, also, here are the tags, which it's just a tie-dye background, background with, uh, Fight to Freddy's, uh, all that, shbam, shaboom, whatever. Yeah, that's really, uh, yeah, that's Foxy. Don't really much, I really don't have much to say about it, except he really doesn't look that bad. At least mine doesn't. And now we're moving on to Bonnie, which, um, uh, okay, looking at this in person, just saying, I'm, I'm looking at the camera right now, he, he really doesn't look that bad on camera, but from my point of view, he kind of looks a little wonky, well, it, obviously, not all plushies are made the same, and de mine definitely isn't, so, first of all, Bonnie's ears are very, very kind of small, like, okay, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, his ears seem to be very, very small, and, honestly, they really, they don't need to be this small, which, I don't know why Funko even did that, uh, and Bonnie basically has this, like, tie-dye purple and blue color and you see the thing about foxy is like he is tie-dye but the tie-dye colors that they chose for foxy and bonnie they all seem to blend with the original color like none of it seems new uh uh bonnie's secondary color also kind of seems to be the same as with no tie-dye uh which yeah it's also done for foxy uh and bonnie's nose is actually this very dark like like blue purplish uh color which i actually li really like the color uh and obviously like the plushies eyes the, the, the these don't really like pop out all that much except they kind of do i don't know i don't know what you guys consider to be pop out eyes and what doesn't this this to me looks like pop out eyes but i don't know if you want to get technical i guess I, you could say it's not but oh well uh you know i could say you know i like the quality of these plushies and let me just say these plushies are soft fine thank god uh but honestly i think it's just my body as like as the head is also very wonky and and just wide uh but i kind of oh you can also kind of squish it down a little bit to your liking i guess at least that's something i just found out now moving on to the last one which you already know what it is and it's freddy and arguably freddy is the is one of my favorite it's my favorite out of uh these three uh, once I get the whole set, I'll have to think of which one is my actual favorite. Uh, but for right now, Freddy is my favorite out of these three. Uh, so, uh, but for whatever reason, my Freddy's like, like his, 
his right, like, a little cheek right here, it's not that stuffed. And I don't know why. Like, I'm trying to see if I can fit it to where there could be more stuffing in there. But honestly, I don't know. I think it's just my Freddy. And like I, how I said, like, with, uh... Sorry for the wonky camera, but, like, like I said with Bonnie and Foxy, how their colors kind of... Their tie-dye colors kind of match similar to, you know, their original colors in the game. Freddy's really doesn't, and it's very different. And I actually like how different this is. Uh... As it has, like, this kind of galaxy... I, I don't know. Okay, whenever I see Tie-Dye Freddy, I always think of it as a galaxy thing. Like, whenever I see this type of purple and yellow color going on, like, I just really like it. He also has a purple nose, which I also really like. And he has these little pop-on eyes, too. And uh, the the ears and his hat. Oh, and the, oh, and the eyebrows are sewed on, which, yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, also... I don't really okay just saying i don't know what to say about these plushies as they're pretty they're pretty simple honestly like like sh like it's literally just the same characters except uh with new designs for whatever reason and they're just tie-dye literally it he also has freddy has a purple bow tie as bonnie has his ordinary red bow tie yes uh <laughs> uh but yeah on the back obviously you can see the tie-dye colors and yeah i don't know i just i just like freddy honestly i really like freddy so Okay, these are all the tie-dye plushies I have for now. Once I get Chica, Mangle, and Springtrap, I will do a review on them as well. And that's why this video is titled uh, the FNAF Tie-Dye Wave Review 1. Not not, not just review, because this is basically part 1, if you really want to think about it that way. But yeah, <laughs> I'll get around to making part 2, I guess, um, when, I get the, when I get the rest of the plushies. But yeah, so... Okay, honestly, I feel like I if I were to go from worst to best, it would start from here. It would start from worst and go to all the way to best. Okay, Foxy really isn't my Foxy really isn't that bad, but he is the he is the worser one out of all these, or the more worse if you want to get technical. Again, I don't spam me in the comments, but yeah, honestly, I give Foxy like a like a six. Honestly, he looks like a six. Bonnie, I would give. I, I, okay, if it wasn't for, like, the whole ears and the whole... If it wasn't for the head, not the eyes and everything, those are fine. But if it wasn't for the large, wonky head that you could just misshape into a different shape, <laughs> uh, I would say... Uh, I, 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 think, I think Bonnie's probably an 8. And Freddy, for me, is a 9. If it wasn't for goddamn production design and messing up the most simplest part of a Freddy plush. But yeah that's really it so guys thank you so much for watching and i also literally just got off school so yeah i'm kind of kind of revved up right now so yeah that's all i have to review for today i will come back with the rest of the tie-dye plushies plush plushies and uh you know review them when i get to them so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and bye <gasps>